And now I want to talk about rounding large numbers. And so we have a large number here in this problem. Um, we actually have, or it's really more of a statement than a problem. It says in 2005, 32,641,526 people attended NCAA football games. And I'd just like to talk about how we would mention that if you were with your friends. Um, if you were to give someone this fact, you probably would not find it beneficial to you or to them to say 32,641,526 people. Um, but more than likely what you would do is you would approximate that. Um, approximation can also be called rounding. That means you'd tell about how many people there are. Um, and so I want you to think about how you would tell about how many people there are. And you can pause the video and write that down and see if we come up with the same thing. Okay, if you've done that, there's actually probably two very common answers, and I want to talk about them. Some of you may have looked at the number 32,641,526 and said it was about. If you notice those symbols right there, that's an approximation sign. Um, approximately means about. Um, if they were, if it was an equal sign, that would mean they were the same. And so I want you to get used to drawing this symbol and recognizing that it means about. We use it when we round. Now some of you may have realized that 32,641,000 is actually not closest to 32 million, but it's actually closer to 33 million. And so it would be fair to say that about 33 million people attended NCAA football games that year. But some of you may have actually rounded it differently. There's more than one way we can round it. Some people may have said that 32,641,526 was about, and it would have also been fair to have said 30 million. And those weren't the only two answers, but I think they're the most common answers. Um, you could have said there were about 33 million or there were about 30 million. Um, in this top choice, when we said 33 million, we actually rounded that to the nearest million, right? We had 32 million and then 600,000, so we said that 33 million was the closest. On the bottom one, we actually rounded it to the nearest 10 million. Um, one word we'll use is we're going to talk about precision. Precision means how close it is to the actual answer. And some num times numbers need to be more or less precise than others. And so the top answer, 33 million, is more precise, although the bottom answer, 30 million, might be the best answer in some cases. Now that we've seen that, let's uh, give another problem a shot on rounding. So our next problem, this is another sports, we're going to switch over to tennis, and the problem says in 2005 attendance for the Wimbledon Championship was 467,188. Round the number to the nearest thousand. Now the first thing I want us to do is actually re recognize what digit is in the thousands place. And if we look on this number, um, Go ahead and underline, write the number 467,188 and underline the thousands place. And if you do that, you should underline the seven. And so the question is, which um, thousands is this number between? And we actually recognize that it is more than 467,000. And we know that because it actually has 467 thousands. And then we look at what is the next thousand up, and I'm going to put it on a number line. Well, if we went 1,000 more up, we would have 468,000. And we recognize that our number is between here. And let's go ahead and put the halfway point. Of course, halfway, half of 1,000 is 500. So halfway down this line would be 467,500. It is exactly halfway between them. And if you wanted to put this number on the number line, go ahead and put where you think it would be. This is where I put my answer. It's closer to 467,000 than it is to 468,000. We can see, because of where it is on the number line, that this number is actually closest to 467,000. And so I hope we see that when we're rounding, we're really saying which thousand, the one below the number or above the number, which thousand is it closest to. And a number line is a great way to see that. So let's take a look at another problem on the number line. This problem says round 2,750,000 to the nearest 100,000. I'll put the nearest 1,000. Um, don't make the mistake I did. It actually should have said to the nearest 
hundred thousand. It would do us no good during this, then there's a thousand, it's already rounded there. So go ahead, write down the number 2,750,000 and round it and underline the hundred thousands place. Okay, I've underlined the seven because it is uh, seven hundred thousands. I want you to go ahead and construct a number line then with the hundred thousand below our number and the hundred thousand above our number. And I know that below our number is 2,700,000. And above it is 2,800,000. And go ahead, and in the middle, we'll put the halfway point, which is 2,700,000. And half of 100,000, of course, is 50,000. 2,750,000. And go ahead and plot our point on this line. And what we recognize here is that we can't say which is this closer to. If it were one less, it would be further to the left, and the answer would be 2,700,000. If it were one more, it would be to the right, and it would be 2,800,000. But 2,750,000 is exactly halfway between. And so um, this has been a problem for mathematicians to figure out what to do. And so mathematicians decided since it's exactly halfway between, we're just going to round up. When a number is exactly halfway between, right on the line, um, in other words, there's a 5 in the 10 thousands place, we will round it up. And so we would actually say that 2,750,000 rounded to the nearest 100,000, we're going to say it's about 2 million. 800,000 for our answer. And there's one way to do these a little bit quicker, so let's work one more problem together. Our final problem says round 172,866,529 to the nearest million. I want you to go ahead and write the number down, but this time we are not going to do this with a number line because we don't need a number line to do all these. A number line is a helpful visual tool, and it's never wrong to do one. But I want us to actually look at what is the easiest way and the quickest way to do these. And so we're going to round to the nearest million. Go ahead and underline the digit that's in the millions place. In our case, that's going to be the 2. There's a 2 in the millions place. If we want to round it to the nearest million, we have to decide whether to round this down to 172 million are up to 173 million. If you remember from in lower grades rounding smaller numbers, it's exactly the same. We look to the right. Let's go ahead and go to the next place to the right, which is the hundred thousands place. We look at that digit to decide if we should go up to the next million or down to the million before. And since the eight is, mo is more than halfway to the nearest million, we should round it up. Of course, we round the numbers, the digits 0, 1, 2, and 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4 down, and we round 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 up. And so we would actually say that this number is about, we round it to the nearest million, 173 million. And that is how we round large numbers.